Hi everyone, welcome to another Procreate tutorial. This is the drawing that we'll be completing in today's video. If you are new here, I mainly post Procreate tutorials, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, before we get started, the only thing that you will need to do is download the color palette. I have it linked in the description below. It's totally free to download. All you need to do is open up the file that downloads and it'll automatically import the color palette that we're using into your Procreate so that you can use the same colors as you follow along with the video. So take a second to go and grab that and then come back and we will get started. Okay, first things first, we will go over the canvas dimensions that we're using. They are 10 inches by 10 inches at 300 dpi. The color profile that we will use is the second one on the RGB list. You'll probably need about 15 layers to work with at a time, so make sure you have at least that many available by checking here. If you do not, you can always lower your DPI here to get more layers. And this is our color palette. Lots of coffee looking colors, fall colors almost. But then our pretty greens for our plants at the end. So... We'll be using a few different tools and techniques in this video for all of our different shapes like the wheels and the coffee cart. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first things first, we'll open up our layers menu. Click on this background color layer and select the first color on our first row here to fill in the background. Next, we will be on layer one and we are just going to go ahead and start by drawing our main rectangular shape of the coffee cart. Let's go ahead and grab the second color on the first row. And we are going to grab our selection tool, turn it onto a rectangle and color fill turned on. And let's just make a small rectangular shape about this big. Then we will grab the arrow tool turn on snapping and we are going to snap it to the center of the screen so when you see the yellow vertical line that is what we care about we need it to be pretty a little bit lower than center though so we don't want it right in the middle um, top to bottom but the middle from left to right and then up, and then about this far down on the screen while we have this layer, let's click on it and turn on alpha lock on the layers menu. Grab the third color on the top row and grab the monoline brush under the calligraphy tab. We're going to set the size to about 70%. And the first tool that we're going to use is the 2D grid tool to get some perfectly straight horizontal lines. So let's go to our gear icon here under the canvas section, turn on the drawing guide, click edit drawing guide. And we do want it to be this 2D grid, which is the first option. And then let's drag our grid size up to have maybe five to six lines going through our, going through our rectangle here. So one, two, three, four, five, I'll use those five. You can kind of move it around if you would like to, to kind of line up your lines, but we want about five going right through the middle horizontally. And then we will turn on this assisted drawing button on the bottom here and then click done. Click on your layer menu, make sure this layer says assisted. If it does not click on it and turn on drawing assist, but again, alpha lock turned on, assisted on. And I'm just going to follow one of these grid lines starting on the left all the way to the right, left to right on the next one. And it doesn't have to be exactly exactly, but pretty darn close to get our lines evenly spaced out. But that's a really nice tool. It also goes vertically. So if you ever need to draw a lot of like perfectly vertical and horizontal lines, this is a good tool to use. Now we can go to the gear icon again and turn off the drawing guide for now. We don't need it again yet, but we probably will soon. So let's add a new layer on top of this one. And then let's go to our color palette and select the first color on the second row. 
and click on the selection tool again, rectangle and color fill turned on again, and we're just gonna draw another rectangular shape in the middle of this rectangle, about this big, maybe covering two of your lines and a little extra, you know, with some good space on the left and right side. And then again, we'll click the arrow tool. And since snapping is still turned on, we want, we want to snap it to the vertical yellow line so that it's lined up in the middle. And then again, we want it maybe towards the top section of our other rectangle. Okay, now we are going to add the word coffee across this, so no need to add a new layer. Let's go to our gear icon, click add, and click add text, and it automatically will add this on a new layer. So double tap the text if you need to to highlight it, otherwise click on the keyboard and we will just I'm gonna turn on caps lock and then type coffee, and then double tap the letters. To bring up our menu, firstly though, click on the color wheel up here and click on the second color on the second row to change your font to that color. Double tap it again and then it'll bring up this menu. Click anywhere on it and it will bring up all of our options here. So the font that I've chosen to use is this D dot font and then I'm going to click to turn it to bold. And we'll drag the size down to maybe 42 and then the tracking up to maybe 12, 10 for now. And then we will click on the arrow tool and drag it onto our rectangle here. Again, I want to see the yellow vertical line and then kind of try to center it in our little rectangle here all the way around. And we could maybe make it a little bit bigger but it fits really well in the rectangle like this so i'm gonna make the entire rectangle and text bigger so let's go to our layer menu with this text layer selected slide right on this little rectangle layer here and then click the arrow tool uniform and i'm going to drag it up just a little bit and then recenter it by hitting the yellow line again so that's totally up to you however you want it to look. Now that that's done, I might make the text just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna click on this layer, click edit text, double tap or click this like AA down here, whatever works to adjust it. So I'm gonna set it to about there. And I like the way that looks. So. Do what you gotta do to make this how you like it. And, but then let's add a new layer. Go to our color menu, select the last color on the top row, this really dark gray black color. Be on our monoline brush still under the calligraphy tab, set that to about 100%. And we're just gonna make a perfect circle. So draw a circular shape, hold your pen down at the end, and then touch your finger to the screen to make it turn into a perfect circle. We want it to be about this size, about half the size of our coffee cart, roughly. And then we are going to click on our arrow tool and with snapping still turned on, we are actually gonna snap it to the middle of the screen, both vertically and horizontally. So you wanna see both yellow lines. And that's just so that we can get our shape right. So find the middle of the screen and then go to the layer menu, make a duplicate of this layer and then select the top one. Open up our color palette, select the fourth color on the top row, and then drag that and drop it onto our shape to fill in the shape. And then click the arrow tool, make sure uniform is turned on, and then drop the size of it so it fits just inside the circle and snap it also to the center of the screen. So you should see both yellow lines and then it'll fit perfectly inside our previous circular shape. Okay, let's make another circle for the middle of the wheel. So let's add a new layer on our layer menu, same little gray color, make a smaller circle in the middle of the screen, 
hold it down, touch your finger to the screen to make it a perfect circle, fill it in. Mine's obviously off center. That's why we started it on a new layer so that we can also snap it to the middle. So click the arrow tool, snap it to the middle of the screen. And then you can actually go to the layer menu and, and you can snap these three layers together. But then you won't be able to move them around anymore. So make sure you kind of like how that's laid out. But now we're going to use another tool to get our spokes. So let's go to our gear icon under canvas, turn on the drawing guide, click edit drawing guide. And we're going to use the symmetry tool but we don't want it to be just the vertical line so click on this options menu and we are going to do radial and then make sure assisted drawing is turned on click done and then click on your layer menu and make sure this layer says assisted if it does not click on it and turn on drawing assist but same light gray color we are just going to start in the middle of our radial here and draw a line out to the end. Touch your finger to the screen to make it perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical. Do not go into the black part. And then let your pen go and then start again in the middle and, and follow this other line over here. Touch your finger to the screen, it'll snap to that perfect angle there. And then let your pen go. And now we have a perfect wheel. Click on the gear icon again, turn off the drawing guide, and then, and then in your layer menu, on this layer, select the arrow tool, drag it down to the bottom right of our cart, and it's okay if it goes off on the right of the cart a little bit, but we want it below our little coffee sign. Go to the layer menu, make a duplicate of this layer. Click on the arrow tool again, turn on magnetics also on here and then drag it to the left and that'll help keep it in line with our original one. And just kind of try to match about where they're falling off. I can see a little bit of the corner here and then I can see a little bit of the corner here. So it's pretty, pretty similar in where they're spaced. Okay, now we are going to draw the awning. So let's add a new layer, drag it all the way below all of our layers right above our background layer. Then we are going to go to our color palette, select the second color on the top row, the white color. We are still on our monoline brush at 100% and we are actually going to use another tool again. So let's go to the gear icon, turn on the drawing guide, click edit drawing guide. So we are going to use symmetry again, but this time under options, click vertical and then click done. And then again, double check that this layer says assisted. Mine does not. So I'm going to click on the layer, turn on drawing assist. And then what we are going to do is starting on the right side, just a little bit in from the edge, we are going to just draw a vertical line, hold it down, touch your finger to the screen to make it perfectly vertical, and then let it go. And now that most of this is laid out, I realize I need a little bit more room because I need to still build the whole awning and I want some good room on top of my coffee cart. So I'm gonna downsize everything just a little bit. So I'm gonna open up the layers menu and this layer is already selected and then I'm gonna slide right on all the other layers that I have. Click on the arrow tool, make sure uniform is turned on and then I'm just gonna downsize it just a little bit and then recenter it with the yellow vertical line snaps and let it go and that should give me a little bit more room. I need a little room underneath for the shadow and then yes, this is a good amount of room to have up top. So now I'm going to go back to this layer I was on, add a new layer on top of it. And we are going to switch to this first color on the second row. Grab the selection tool, rectangle and color fill turned on again. And we are going to make a skinnier rectangle all the way across that's going to go a little wider on each side than our coffee cart does. Let that go, click the arrow tool and snap it to the middle. 
where you see the you can turn off magnetics that kind of helps see the yellow line a little bit better so the yellow line we're gonna have it right on top of these little bars that we just made it's okay if there's a little bit of space between them because we're gonna add some little scalloped edge here and that'll cover that up so this will be another fun fun technique so let's add a new layer on top of this layer same cream color same monoline brush at 100 percent and we are going to zoom in a little bit and then we are going to draw a circle right here draw a circular shape hold your pen down touch your finger to the screen and then resize it so it's about oh this big and i'm going to click edit shape and i'm going to draw so it just lines up with this middle line here that is showing since our symmetry tool is turned on we're not actively using the symmetry tool on this layer but we still have the drawing guide showing and that's kind of helpful here so it overlaps just the teeniest bit that's fine and then we want only about half the bottom half of the circle sticking out from our rectangle and then we're going to fill in the circle go to our layer menu make a duplicate of our circle click the arrow tool now we do want magnetics turned on so that it stays in line so we'll drag it over just a little bit and we still want our circles to overlap some to give this nice scalloped look and then so get it to where you like it and then go to our layer menu and we're going to snap these two circles together make a duplicate of them and then click the arrow tool drag it out until you get about the same scallop distance here and then we're going to go to our layer menu and slap, snap those together okay so now it's obviously sticking off on the side a little bit from our rectangle and we don't want that so let's click the arrow tool make sure uniforms turned on and starting on this right side i'm just going to resize it and it actually snaps right there when it hits that edge if yours doesn't just line it up as best that you can and then let it go and then look how beautiful that is so now we are going to go to our layer menu make a duplicate of our four circles click on the arrow tool and we're going to drag those all the way to the right until they snap on that left side awesome so that's our scallop that's our scalloped awning now we can go to the layer menu and snap all three of these layers together so the rectangle and then all of our circles can all be one layer click on that layer turn on alpha lock okay so now we are going to use another tool Okay, so now we're going to use another tool to recolor and add stripes to our awning here. So just like earlier when we used the one to make the horizontal lines, we're gonna do something similar to make vertical lines. So in your color palette, select the second color on the second row and then go to the gear icon. Click to edit the drawing guide, turn it on if it's not on, but it should be from our last couple steps. Click edit, go back to our 2D grid. You don't need to resize anything. The size doesn't matter, but make sure assisted drawing is turned on in the bottom right. And then click done. Again, click on your layer menu. Make sure this layer says assisted. If it does not, click on it and turn on drawing assist. And then using our same monoline brush, we're gonna start on this very right side here. And all we're going to do is we wanna create a vertical line right where the two circles meet that make up our scallop. So just kind of start drawing a line. And that one I got right on the nose and then I'm going to drop the color on the right side here and then fill in if there's a little gap here, just kind of fill in with my brush. Then we'll skip this next one and then I will draw two vertical lines on each side of this one right where the circles meet. So I kind of start drawing, sometimes I'm right on the side, sometimes I'm over it, sometimes it's not the right spot. So just kind of keep retrying until you get that exact spot where they meet. 
then again, skip the next one. And then we'll go to this one. Boom right there. Boom right there. It's okay if it's not like perfect, perfect, as long as you can, you know, as long as it looks pretty good. Like this one's not perfect, but that's okay. Close enough. And then our last one here. Fill it in. And then obviously our very edge one is going to stay the cream color. So now we have every other awning piece colored. And that is it for that step. So we can click on our gear icon and turn off the drawing guide now so that that disappears. So now we're just gonna add all the extras. So that's the majority of our cart. We're gonna add a menu sign, some coffee cups and the coffee machine. So let's start with the menu sign. So we are going to add a new layer on top of all the layers. Grab the third color on the second row. Click on the selection tool, rectangle and color fill turned on as we like to do. And the menu is gonna be over on this left side here, right on top of our coffee cart. So I maybe wanna see a little bit of this bar showing behind it. So let's just start drawing a rectangle right to the edge of the coffee cart. Let it go. And then click the arrow tool to kind of deselect it. And then we are going to go back to our color menu, select the fourth color in the second row. We're on that same layer. I'm gonna grab the selection tool again, and then we're just gonna start on this upper left corner, go in on both the top and the left side just a little bit. And then we're going to draw another rectangle. And before you let it go, try to be pretty precise and make it look pretty even all the way around because you're not gonna be able to like move it around. So try to find a good spot and then let it go. And then that is the middle of our chalkboard. So now we are going to draw the menu on it. So we'll just stay on the same layer actually. And we are going to grab the second color on the top row and we are going to grab the chalk brush on our calligraphy menu. Well, let's change the size to maybe 3%. We're gonna start by drawing a horizontal line. So draw a line all the way across towards the top, hold it down till it turns into a perfect line and then touch your finger on the screen to make it perfectly horizontal. And I just kind of have a little bit of space on the left and right of the, the gray area here. And then on top of that, I am just going to freehand the word menu. Doesn't have to be perfect as you can see mine is not but feel free to redo it a couple times if you want to and then after that i'm just going to draw some fakey looking little menu items just by doing squiggly lines a big one first and then a smaller one here which would be like the price probably Let's just maybe aim to do like four. So I kind of start and stop these at the same spot, but like, but like these two, I left a little space in between to imply that maybe there's like two words there. And then these all start and stop at the same spot. Also, this last one, maybe I'll just do one big one. And then the little price one. Okay, so that's our menu. And obviously it's a chalkboard, so it's not supposed to be perfect anyway. So next, let's add some cups next to this. So let's add a new layer. Let's go ahead and grab this cream color, the second one on the second row. Grab our selection tool, a rectangle and color fill. And we're gonna start right a little bit lower than the top of the menu and in the middle of this like brown edge part. We are just going to draw a rectangle a little skinnier 
then you know pretty skinny and then again touch the top of the table and then let it go and then we are going to grab our eraser tool open this menu and let's grab the monoline brush for this as well under the calligraphy menu and we are going to set it to maybe 50 percent and then so let's start on the left side just a little bit ways up let's draw a line hold it down at the end so it turns into a perfectly straight line and then have it snap to an angle so this angle is a little too deep so maybe this angle here erase whatever's left over and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side so starting about at the same spot draw a line let it hold it down and then snap it to that same angle so this one again would be too deep so this one here is the one that we want let it go and then erase this little bit that's left here so now we kind of have a cup shape at the bottom this is like the stack of cups so let's see here let's go to our layer menu click on this layer turn on alpha lock okay so with alpha lock turned on we are once again going to use the grid to get our perfectly straight horizontal lines go to the gear icon turn on the drawing guide it should pop up the 2d grid already but click edit a drawing guide anyway and just make sure that assisted drawing is turned on no need to resize the grid at all and then let's go to our layer menu make sure this says assisted on it and then go to our color palette and select this fourth color on the top row so we're going to switch back to our monoline brush under the calligraphy tab drop the size to maybe five percent so this is about where our little angle started to go inward so we're going to start a little bit above that draw all the way across and just kind of do that all the way up leaving about the same amount of space in between it doesn't have to be perfect but if one of them gets like too far apart or too close together just redo that one like this one's a little too close now it's a little too far <laughs> so try to keep them as even as you can all the way up that last little space there so they're not all perfect but from far away they look good enough and then lastly we will switch to our second color on the second row and we are going to just draw a thick rectangle in the middle of our main coffee cup here drag to fill that in there's a little bit of a gap so I'm just going to use my brush to go over it and then that is it for our stack of coffee cups okay so now we can go to our gear icon turn off the drawing guide again we don't need that anymore and last thing that we're gonna add to the tabletop here is the coffee machine so let's add a new layer let's go to our color palette grab the fourth color on the top row grab our selection tool rectangle and color fill turned on once again and starting maybe like halfway through our little bar here and you know towards the middle of our cart we are going to start and draw a rectangle we don't want it to go off the edge of the coffee cart we want it to be a little bit inside the edge and then again touch the tabletop and let it and then let it go to fill it in while we are on this shape, we are going to grab the third color on the top row now. Make sure we're on our monoline brush. Drag that up to 100%, and we are going to draw two horizontal lines in the middle of our rectangle here, more towards the top. So starting in from the top left corner a little bit, drag a line all the way across. Hold it down at the end, touch your finger to the screen to make it perfectly horizontal, and then kind of let it go right where it's about the same distance from the right side. And then do that again right underneath it. Hold it down, touch your finger to the screen, 
this one is a little too far down the side so i'm going to click edit shape and just gently slide that over trying to keep it still pretty horizontal but have it match up a little bit better so it should look like this when you're done then let's add a new layer drag this layer underneath our machine that we just made grab the fourth color on the second row same brush but let's drop the size to maybe 70 percent and i'm going to draw a line starting off the left side towards the top of our machine drag it off into the left a little bit at a little bit of a slant like that that's like a handle and then we're going to be on the same layer but grab our selection tool again with rectangle and color fill turned on again and let's draw a rectangle or a little square on the top right side of our machine here drop it and let it go it should disappear behind it grab our eraser again like we did before and let's just start from this top left corner right where the corner is draw a line hold it down at the end touch your finger to the screen to make it snap to an angle maybe this one here that one's way too deep that one's not deep enough so this like middle one is the one that i'm going to use erase the remainder there do the same thing on the other side snap it to that same angle right there erase what's left over and that is like our little funnel if you don't really like how this shape turned out or where it's placed you can make some adjustments to it if you just need to move the shape but you don't want to move the handle you can click the selection tool click freehand turn off color fill draw around the shape and then move it a little bit so i'm going to move mine down just a little bit so that less of that pointy part is showing just like that okay and the last thing that we will do is add the plants on the side of the cart and then the shadow underneath so first we're going to start by drawing the pot so we're going to do a fun little technique here to get the shape that we want so let's go to our layer menu add a new layer on top of everything however we want the plants to be behind the cart so let's drag it below all of our layers so right on top of our background layer and then we are going to go to our color menu select the first color on the last row and we are going to grab the selection tool this time we're going to use ellipse and then color fill and we are going to draw a oval shape like this pretty tall and skinny and then let it go and then we are going to grab the selection tool again so touch it once to turn the selection off touch it again to select it again this time we're going to click rectangle turn off color fill and the first selection that we will make is just a bottom little section here not very far up select that whole bottom part of the oval click the arrow tool and drag it off the screen click the selection tool again and then we're going to start way up and to the left and we are going to select most of the top half about halfway through the oval and then click the arrow tool again and drag that off the screen so this is our little pot click the arrow tool again and then we're just going to kind of drag it into place here right behind the wheels and a little bit behind our cart here i'm actually going to click free form and i'm going to make it a little bit taller right about there and then we're going to go to our layer menu make a duplicate of this layer click the arrow tool turn on snapping and magnetics and then drag it all the way to the left side in about the same position and then we can if you need to save some layers we can go ahead and snap those two layers together on our layer menu add a new layer drag this layer behind our pots and then we will draw our leaves here so let's select our first color on the last row we are on our monoline brush still let's change the size to maybe 40 percent and we're going to start on the right side here and we are just going to start inside the pot basically 
draw a little squiggly line up, start at that same point, draw a little squiggly line down, kind of connect them at the bottom together and then fill that in. And let's draw another one starting at the top here, a little bit taller. Again, connect them at the bottom and fill it in. And let's draw one more here, a little bit thicker. And then we'll move on to our left side. Do a very similar thing over here. But rather than like copying them and moving it over, we want our plants to be a little bit unique. So that's kind of why we're drawing them separately. And uh, yes, there's a little bit of spaces in between them. Okay, so now we are going to select this layer on the layer menu, turn on alpha lock, go to our color palette, like the second color on the last, or sorry, the second green color, so the third color on the last row. And we're gonna turn sideways and we are just going to draw some with the same brush, same size, just some little like horizontal lines. They don't have to be perfect, Kind of space them out sporadically some of them longer than others and we're going to switch sides on some of our leaves too so this time we'll just do it on the right side whereas before we did it on the left and then let's just do the right side again just something like that and then we're going to do the same thing over here So those are our back leaves. Now we will go to our layer menu, add a new layer on top of this one, go to our colors, grab the fourth color on the last row, and then we are gonna draw our main leaf shape again. So this one's kind of behind the coffee cart. And this time we'll maybe do four, four of this lighter color leaf in the front here. Something like that. You kind of want to make sure they're like the same height, you know, as the other side. This side ended up, the back leaves ended up being a little bit shorter, so I'm going to kind of make these ones a little bit taller to make up for that. And then this one we won't really see much of, it'll be kind of off the edge. But you can tell it's there. And then we're going to do the same exact thing, so click on this layer on the layer menu, turn on alpha lock, grab the last green color on this last row, and again turn sideways, and we are going to do the same little lines that we did before. And then let's do this one. Okay, and that is it for our plants. And then our very final step is going to be a sh to add a shadow underneath everything. So let's go to our layer menu, add a new layer, drag it below everything, right above our background layer. Click on the end on this layer and drag it up to multiply. And then we are going to click on our color palette, grab the first color on the first row, the same color we used for our background. Click on the selection tool, set it to ellipse and color fill. And then starting off to the left side here, let's just drag and draw a skinny 
horizontal rectangle that goes past the plants on both sides. Let that go. Click on the arrow tool and then we'll just kind of drag it so it's actually, you know, centered a little bit better and sticking out below our wheels here. Again, showing on each side of the plants. And then we are going to click on the wand tool, click Gaussian blur layer and drag this to maybe, oh, 12%. And then we're going to click on the layer menu again, and this is a little too dark, so we're going to click on this M again, where we switched it to multiply, and we'll just drag the opacity down to maybe, maybe 75%. And that is it for our drawing today. I hope you had fun. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials from me in the future. If you would like to share your drawing on Instagram, I would love to see it. So go ahead and post it and then tag me so that I can check it out. While you're there, go ahead and give me a follow so that you can see what I'm working on next. Thanks for watching.